Supreme Rising, peace, love, light, and protection to the House O'Hilly family. Today, we back at it again with another healing, healing, healing. Peace, love, life, healing, and abundance, family. House of Healing LLC is back in the building with another healing testimony with Master Herbalist Yisrael. Check it out. Right, a lot of healing has been going on. We want to start off by giving all praises to the Most High, to the Most High, to the Most High. When we're getting deeper into the levels of consciousness and we're raising our, our, our levels up, we just want y'all to know that healing is real and we got this and we're going to continue to be a part of the solution and not a part of the problem. So without further ado, this is a healing testimonial from Sister Earthen. And she's gonna break down what's been going on with her through a healing journey, healing from fibroids. So without further ado, Earthen, it's on you. Cool deal. Hi there, um, the name is Earthen Mystique. You can find me here on Clubhouse. Um, I, I wanna, I, this year, the past year, 2020, okay, we're in 2023. First of all, Happy New Year, everybody, everyone listening, and uh, I guess whoever may be coming in soon. But um, happy, happy New Year. Um, last year was a little rough. It was very, very challenging. Uh, the past couple of years in general have been challenging, challenging but uh, last year did require me to really lean into healthcare, mental health services more than anything. Um, and I was quite abundantly vocal to my therapist and quite frankly, everyone else who, you know, assumed that I was living a normal life and that I'm just a normal, and I am, don't get me wrong, just a normal human being, but they don't realize that I am dealing with a, a extra weight, extra, um, you know, difficulties that really come and have uh, been caused by fibroids. So I talked to my therapist about it. And um, I told her, you know, at the time, hey, um, I'm experiencing a lot of pain pertaining to it. Um, you know, I, I went into the details about it. And she recommended that I reach out to uh, Israel, Israel, Israel from House of, he House of Healing. Matter of fact, she connected both of us um, on the call while during the session because she knows that. I'm the kind of person when when I'm ready to do something, I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to go full full force and accomplish it. It might I might stumble, but all that means for me is like I'll try again and I'll get it done. I'll I'll succeed eventually. So she connected me with Israel and he was he immediately, you know, he called me. Um I told him what my situation was and he recommended their house special teas. Now, um, I had two options, you could buy the tea outright or you could coach me into getting it. I will tell most of the people who are listening, I highly recommend you go ahead and buy the tea outright because it can be a lot of work. And for those who don't say have a mortar and pestle or a weighing, uh, uh, weighing object, or it's, it can be hard to find all the herbs. I'll just tell you straight up. Um, I um, fast forward. So he coached me into making the tea. I had a lot of question about the frugivore diet, and I'm still really leaning in to figuring out, you know, really integrating that in, as a lifestyle, uh, little by little. But I managed to keep going with the tea. I kept that uh, standard throughout. So what I um, what ended up happening was um, I'm gonna fast forward to the good news. Um, they, uh, I had an MRI done of the fibroids to kind of see where everything's at. And uh, they told me that one of them was being, uh, was degenerating. What that means is basically said fibroid, fibroid was dying, was dying, was dying. It's dead, it cannot get the blood supply. And so my body is passing it out. Uh, this happened on the seventh day, the seventh day, the seventh day when I started taking the house special tea. Um, and uh, yeah, 
at first I was freaked out because I'm like, oh gosh, I'm in a lot of pain. That pain is called homeopathic aggravation or a healing crisis, which is a normal physiological reaction that happens during detoxification. But again, there was a lot of changes to happen within just seven days. So that explains a lot of uh, the discomfort. So that's a short abridged story. I had to separate all myself from my friend group um, because I started to realize that they didn't hold the same values that I did. As you heal and transform yourself from the inside out by raising your vibrational frequency, your environment will also change to match your new energy. Then I had to uh, really hone in on trying to create a new equilibrium for myself, just in terms of diet. Now, this was even before I had met Israel. So in 2021, they ordered an ultrasound and they measured my uterus and it was 18.9 centimeters by 16 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So just to put this into perspective, it might be about the size of a personal pizza. In 2022, with their treatment, it managed to shrink by 15.1 by 8. 0.4 to 14.5 centimeters. Um, and at this point, they were able to identify some of the five largest ones that were causing problems. So just to give some dimensions to this. So um, this, during this MRI, pre, uh, current MRI, they measured my uterus. It had gotten bigger, but... <laughs> They found out, okay, mind you, day seven of my taking the tea, I started feeling intense cramping. They found out that there was the a middle one, one of the larger one, largest ones in um, the middle of my uterus, which measured 5.3 to 6 4.6 centimeters. They found that it was degenerating and non-enhancing. So what that means is that it was bas it's basically dying, dying, dying. <laughs> So that cramping that I was feeling in my tummy, that intense pain was actually the death of the, the last, you know, cry of a behemoth. And I do attribute that directly to the tea that I was taking because this has been going on for years. It has maintained, as I've told you guys, the same size for years. And it's just now finally dying. It, it and it's not coming back. That's what makes me. I'm like, finally, I'm making progress, <laughs> actual progress in this. Um, there is now. I want to put this into perspective and be real. As many of you know, women can have multiple fibroids. They can also have them of multiple sizes, uh, multiple places, and so that's one fibroid. But that's one. That's one. A uh, uh, behemoth, one monster in an army that has been taken down by this tea, which I am super excited about. Excited, but also freaked out because that's a lot of cramping I'm probably going to have to go through um, in this round. But I'd rather deal with this than necessarily go completely invasive um, without any real hope, if that makes sense. It's still early on in this still. But I feel as though I have finally, especially with that, the house specialty, I finally cracked a, a brick wall. I have finally made a breakthrough um, with the direction of, of how to treat this and to kind of free myself from this finally, this finally, this finally. <laughs> Got any health problems? Visit House of Healing LLC. We're part of the solution. the solution. Until next time, from the Healing Squad in the House of Healing, peace, love, life, and healing. healing.